hi guys and hello i'm back now at my channel and can do again nice small talk videos sorry that i'm not so often here okay my last video was a little time that's um the reason is i changed my job twice now i'm in a good position in my new job um yes i'm i stay in the cutting machine operating area and i work now on the grinding machines this company um sharpened and built tools for different um how call it different guys or different other companies like carpenters woodworkers or other um, industrial parts who work with metal or steel um i i am on the position to grind and sharpen saw blades um hardened saw blade with inserts there are little inserts that are char sharp with this machine and i work there since six months that is why i'm not so often to do videos because i have to go in this company is to start to work there to live in this company and to get join and connect and join with all the other workmates there and yes now i'm settled in and i'm since um i'm on six months there um january 2000 january this year i started to work there and i'm happy i changed uh, the companies twice first i was in the cnc company in hamburg then i go to a depot company in uh, hamburg denfeld and there i go moved there now i'm um, in hamburg federal there's a company who work on tools we the company sharpen and repair tools from saw blade just chainsaw um uh chains up to uh, mill heads or uh, um special blades for cutting uh is the installation from cables band saws or uh, for huge um sheet metal machines to cut and on all rotor rotors for chipping plastic and that's company grind and then repair this um tools the other part of what this company do is selling tools for the industrial guys um they sell big uh, suction machines filter machines and they repair um engine machines like chainsaws um garden tools professional mowing machines yes but that is a little part now i'm back on to do produce videos try to do the best my uh try my best to produce again videos i have um now a good setup for me to do this again you may some guy may i use the sony a7 mark a7 r mark 3 or so i got this camera but this is not my photo camera then i have a red dsmc2 this camera is rented out mostly to a guy who work on a documentary um since this time i bought two nice qubit cams called z cams i have now the e2 and the other cams in the case this is e2 m4 and during this um time where i was not on this channel i learned to work with these cameras and i get got more and more in in love with these cameras because they were great they're so small and great now i'm recording with a simpler e2 camera with an mft micro four thirds lens uh a standard zoom lens from panasonic um on a cfast card from angel bird i use as a screen a used old crappy iphone i think that is the iphone x i got from a buddy around it's worked great it's a bit small and fitchy 
but I thinking to get a iPad mini, iPad Air, a bigger screen so I can do my um, work better. I love the workflow of this camera. Okay, a red DSMC2 or red Komodo is from the color signs a bit better, in my opinion. It's a actual thing, in my opinion, to think about cameras. And so that is, that is why I said, okay, in my opinion, the color signs of the red Komodo is better. Okay, it's an expensive camera. But for my little purpose now, for my vlogging, for my video work now, um, if this 2Z cam is amazing. The setup is small, um, the lenses are small, and so I got here now a kit lens. I swapped it out to a 12 to 33 Panasonic. It's a more expensive lens, but I like this um, um, look of this lens. Or I go to the big uh, 12 to 16, maybe. I have to look. But in all in conclusion, um, I like this cam and now I can try and use this more and more for my private love vlogging. When I go work for other camera guys, I use bigger gear like the, the red Komodo and so on and so on. But in, in my eyes I have to see more and more the Z cam is an underrated cam. I, uh, I like the quality, the quality is great. They, Camera shoot in ProRes 422. Now I shoot in ProRes 422 standard, not LT, not proxy, not HQ, because the card inside is not so big. It's an older Angel Bird, 160 gig, and it's run amazing. I can cut this whole thing on my Linus Manjaro machine um, in full resolution, full time on the DaVinci Reserve. It, this machine now is older. I have two machines. I have for my video work for us a Xeon E5 V2, 12 core, with 128 gig RAM, one terabyte main disk and one terabyte uh, scratch or working disk, all SSD based. And the second machine is the AMD Thread River with blasting 32 cores. 180, 128 gig RAM and the same disk um, config and especially the old system. By the way, in the in the Xeon E5 V2, there's a NVIDIA RTX 2080. In the Thread River, it's a 2082. But I swapped these two cards then out to uh, RTX Quadro. Um, but uh, that's great. It's so crazy how fast DaVinci Resolve and Linux Manjaro work on the machine. This is around 2013 out. And I can edit amazing ProRes 422 HQ up to ProRes and listen 4444 with no lag. And it's great. The power machine is so blasting. Powerful. Okay, it's not comparing to a M1 or M2. That is now the next thing what I want to buy. A Mac Mini Studio with the M1 Pro, I'll call it, uh, CPU. Because I tested this, uh, this little beast uh, from on a guy here in Hamburg. And it's, it's crazy how fast this Apple product is. This M1 and um, ProRes works flawless and great. Um, last week I did a row for, for a boat company here with my two Z camps and I work on a Burrett, that's not my MacBook, um, the, the Air or Pro with an M1 chip on a mobile device, not a smartphone mobile, but I mean a mobile machine, like a notebook, and I can edit. I can directly add it from this SSD. I recorded on this time on the SSD. Um, it's uh, Angelbird SSD, and I was blown away how amazing this workflow is with this little cam, with this ProRes, and with this M2, uh, M, sorry, M1 not, uh, MacBook Pro or so. And that is why I ch want to change my 
recording setup or in video setup a bit because it's great little setup. For example, when I go to the mountains or I, I'm on, in an RV where I have not enough space or power, I can work on a very low power consumption with, uh, with great, great material. ProRes is great for working. Okay, raw is better, but in some purpose, ProRes is great. It's a good counterpart to DNX IHR, what I used in the past. Um, during the current theme, the to get the lower the uh, power consumption of machines, the, the M1 or M2 is a great, great counterpart. If you go, if you want to get rid of the huge machines, okay, I have two very blasting machines here. The Xeon E5 V2 is not a great power consumption machine, and the thread rebound is the same problem. Both machines have around 1k uh, watt PSU because there's a huge amount of uh, GPU power and processor power. And okay, the M1 is powerful, but in something the CPU is lacking. I will not do now a review. There are so much rare reviews on the YouTubes here. You can Google it and still look for yourself. And one review for DaVinci Blau and go. I want to do it now. I want to tell now my opinion about this little piece of CPU and my workflow. And um, go back to the start is yes, I, am, I changed now my camera so i rendered out the red dsmc2 to a guy with all lenses with all red max because he want uses more professional like me i buy, bought my um or i buy bought these two z cams uh cfast is great i have a reader here and i slam the data and i cut it and deliver it out to my channel for example and I'm happy with it. Okay, the little downside of the Linus Manjaro thing is you cannot cannot directly encode or um, run it out in ProRes. Maybe of license issues. I can run it only in DNH, DNX HR. That is for me okay. Um, uh, it's not a problem or a big deal for me. Now, for the dark guys who want to know that I record now, ProRes 42 in full HD with 60 frames. Why? <laughs> Why not? I can use 4K or DCA 4K. This cam is great to work with this. But for my vlogging, it's enough this full HD and I'm happy to uh, use it now. Um, so I have no trouble to work with that. Um, yes, uh, in conclusion to my setup, um, I have the Z-Cam with a standard kit lens, kit lens, zoom lens, um, a little LED light, a cheap roll eye, got it for Christmas, and a very cheap, small little um, iPhone where I see, don't know why there's no whole pixel, maybe. It's a build issue of the iPhone itself, um, but there's no problem. Uh, okay, a bigger screen would be amazing more. And the autofocus is maybe a bit wobbly. Uh, hopefully you can see me clearly and not unsharp or problematic. Um, the delay between this phone and the Wi-Fi is okay. Okay, direct cable. Um, it's better. Um, I swapped the Wi-Fi antenna. There's normally a small Wi-Fi antenna to a bigger one, and it's okay as well. I have much Wi-Fi's here. I have my apartment, two Wi-Fi's. Um, one Wi-Fi is for the public, not for public. It's for my normally internet use, more normally mobile device like my tablets and smartphones, and uh, and the other Wi-Fi is the controlling Wi-Fi. And this Wi-Fi, they are my Audi system, my home cinema, and um, my power amplifiers. So I have different Wi Fi's. And it's worked great. Um, 
But I would say, yes, that is now my part of a small talk again. I try to do more small talks. And hopefully more videos because now I can edit faster. The downside of this this huge red DSMC 2 was first the size, the battery size, and so now I have a small battery and everything is now great. So I hope you enjoy my comeback to my channel again and I hope you, uh, you appreciate it that I do this. If you like it, you press the bell and the subscribe button and like it. So I wish you a good day. Have fun in your with your equipment gear or so. Um, soon back. I say for bye for now and stay positive. And bye.